Wu Ping Tsai, who is the Senior Consultant uh, Sustainability Service with Schneider Electric. And he will be speaking today about climate change strategy in the Chinese market, uncovering opportunity and maximizing value in facing climate and low carbon challenges. So please welcome him up to the stage. Uh, good afternoon. I am Cai Luping from Schneider Electric. I really want to thank for the sharings and in different dimensions about sustainability. And for Schneider Electric, we'll talk more uh, about the medians. One is energy, carbon emission, waste. And because we are an energy efficiency management solution provider, so because they have a very strong correlability, so we are serving five major markets. We hope that we can enable our customers to be more efficient, safer, and more reliable in terms of energy consumption. So during the panel discussion, many people have mentioned about smart equipment and big data. Actually, that is also what uh, Schneider Electric believes to be the future trend. So we provide comprehensive solutions, including software, hardware, and services. And interestingly, Schneider Electric's um, uh, sustainability and digital services are under the same boss. So, speaking of that, I want to ask you a question. How many of you believe this assumption that actually carbon emission will lead to climate change? Can you raise your hand if you believe in it? How about those who do not believe in that? Nobody disbelieves in that, so everyone believes in that assumption. But I think it's very rare because most of you are working in the field of CSR. But when we look at it, we are glad to see a lot of organizations see the potential crisis of carbon emission and try to find a solution. But actually, the transformation of the business model are forced by external pressures. So three other types of people need to believe in that for you to change your strategy. First is the government. They need to believe that the environmental protection so that in terms of price, it will give you some pressure because the price also goes up. And also, for the investor, they need to see the potential benefits, and they would like to invest in that. The third party is the consumers. They would like to buy in for the enterprises who are doing very well in energy saving and emission reduction. If these three parties can buy in that assumption will be very meaningful for the carbon emission reductions, just like this chart shows. Some of the biggest listed companies have already included the carbon emission cost into their investment strategy. So they have already predicted the potential risks of the carbon emission. And it can also lead to a positive increase of their financial Results. Maybe it's because of the version of my PowerPoint. It does not play show very well in, in the right chart. So I want to share with you about several things. First is about the crisis and opportunities we will be facing. Second, how do we identify the gaps and address those challenges? Last, I want to share with you about some um, activities we are taking and how do we provide 360 degrees uh, solutions for our customers? First of all, the international pressure has turned into domestic pressure. So 
China has break down its goals for emission reduction. So we already have 42 low carbon pilot provinces and cities, and we also have seven carbon transaction pilots. And we, by 2013, we had developed 100 low carbon industrial parks pilots, and a lot of enterprises are having doubts how carbon transaction market will become. I can share with you, actually, the people, uh, the central government's opinion about the carbon transaction is that we have to do that without any compromises. Actually, the Chinese government's route for carbon transaction is that it, we need to start from the pilot cities, and we need to build up some theories, strategies, and framework. And by 2019, we are going to implement that that in nationwide. So we can see how fast it, it will progress. And the carbon tr trading is an political tools based on market measures. So the challenge to business organizations is that actually there will be two types of emission controlling organizations, good ones and bad ones. So for this industry, the cruel reality is that if you're not doing well with the emission, emission you are actually subsidizing those who are doing a good job in that. And most of the subsidies are not coming from the government instead of from your competitors. So you can ensure the microeconomic environment can build into a system which is very efficient. That is also the nature of carbon trading. This chart. Uh, shows the fluctuation of the carbon price for a specific period. When carbon has a price, it can lead to a lot of pessimistic behavior of the organizations and the determinant factors of carbon prices de is determined by its supply and demand side. And for the supply is the national quota did plan and for the demand side it's about the emission level. So our concern is that for carbon trading, what price will the enterprises need to pay? For example, a cement manufacturer. So, so in the pilot carbon trading in US, in California, what kind of cost do they need to pay? The bottom line will show that actually the carbon trade will need to occupy 8% of your profits. If it's in EU, it will be 25.9% of your profits. In California, it will be 36%. Of course, cement manufacturer is not representative of all enterprises, but I want to give you these quantified figures to show you that it will take a part uh, of the cost from the profits of the enterprises. And also for the compulsory reporting risk, the left chart shows climate change. The NDRC, when they are implementing the collection and reporting of carbon emission data, that will be, those data will serve the future carbon trading. If you haven't finished that collection and reporting, that actually covers all those high emission enterprises. Second is the authoritative department of finance will have a stricter requirements for carbon disclosure for listed co companies. And for opportunities in capital market, I will not talk about things you all know about the benefits from energy saving. I would just want to tell you about the opportunities from capital market.
There is an interesting statistics. There's a disclosure platform. They have a carbon disclosure index. The payback for a fund, the carbon dis disclosure is about 1.67 times uh, compared with the other Fortune 500 companies. That shows sustainable companies will have better uh, stock market performance. But for equity, a lot of enterprises are trying to uh, use the benefits of their carbon assets into the design of their bonds. For example, Zhong Guanghe has issued their carbon bonds with specific with a fixed um, earning rate and also a fluctuating earning rate. So I've talked about the challenges and opportunities. Actually, there are some actual challenges in front of a lot of enterprises because I've been in this field for six to seven years. Actually, when we are doing the carbon emission data, we are using the the method in the left and the right. So left side is manual. The, the right side is Excel. So it depends on the mood about the accuracy. So you can ensure that only the first and the last uh, figure is accurate. You really don't know whether they have written that according to actual data. The, the method in the right side by Excel is semi-automatic. Its accuracy is determined by technical level because different people have different understanding of Excel. Because for multi-site management, there's high pot possibility of mistakes by managing by Excel. So today's topic management can be company level, group level, or supply chain level. So there are multiple sites, multiple uh, high quantity, and also a lot of events and a lot of people in involved. I'm sorry. I want to apologize because my version of the PowerPoint is different from this laptop. So what is the future challenge for us? I think there are three questions to be addressed. How to efficiently manage carbon emission database uh, information flow, workflow, how to efficiently manage carbon assets portfolio, technical carbon emission project portfolio, and how do we find green commercial value from carbon emission? I can give you three tips. The first tip is about your guidelines. If you only know about carbon emission, you cannot solve the problem of carbon emission because it, it co will be a cross-function thing. It, it involves strategy, technology, and legal. So it needs a, involves three topics. First, you need to set up a um, low-carbon plan according to your positioning. And if you only have strategy, you, you also need to have technology. You need to track, manage, and forecast energy consumption and production data. Last is, the, is that you need to launch it, because only professional consultant and technical team can ensure your low carbon goals can be turned into reality. Second, you need to pay attention to the, your work method. You need to set up highly efficient work framework. You need to set, formulate your strategies. You need to establish the system. You need to evaluate carbon footprint and action priority. And you need to execute the optimal measures and communicate the results of carbon emission because it involves a lot of things. It might be your carbon emission and disclosure management because you need to take different methodologies to address those. The third challenge comes from your work skills. How do you use highly efficient management tools to multiply, multiply your results? So there are three principles. One, principle one is how to turn expensive things to be very cheap so that we can reduce the cost of delivery. 
when everyone is doing that, maybe the cost is very similar under similar situations. So we need to have technical upgrade to ensure reduce our cost. For example, big data, cloud technologies. Principle two is that turn something hard to get into something very easy to get. So that also help us to address the challenges for our customers. And principle three is that turn something that is difficult to use into something easy to use. So we need to deeply understand about the process of the customer and enhance the customer experience. I want to share with you about case. Actually, we are serving one of the best um, real estate developer in China. We provide uh, comprehensive energy saving solutions, including our professional technical team. Actually, in this case study, one of its building at Chaoyaman in Beijing. So we help them to manage 686 um, electricity monitoring points. So we can allow authorize the staff of the customer and our consultants to log onto this interface and access it through computer for energy management. We feel iPad will be the future interface. And in order to facilitate our customers to showcase their energy saving results to their me to the media friends. We have also established a 3D presentation platform. Maybe it doesn't look very clearly, but I can show you a clearer picture. So we hope that it can be very uh, economic and artistic. So actually it has an animation engine at the back end, so it can move freely. So we can turn something difficult to get to into something easy to get. So the customer can easily see about their carbon emission. So we turn it into some intuitive interface. So you can actually see from the color how they are operating with their carbon emission. Next, I want to share with you about some of our case studies about the low carbon plans we have created for our customers. Actually, you will be able to enhance your low carbon competitiveness. So at least it can bring your benefits in three dimensions. Of course, there are many more dimensions. I think for Chinese players, you need to pay attention to these three first. The first one is establishing a landmark within an industry. And you need to set up the benchmark. And for the upper stream, you need to control the supply chain. And, and for the downstream, you need to retain your customers so that more customers will y use your products. And you can also control the supply chain at the upper stream so that you can reduce your cost and set up the benchmark within the industry, the enterprises need to utilize highly efficient emission, uh, carbon emission measures and emission control countermeasure strategies to achieve operating efficiency. And for carbon trading, we recommend the framework um, that includes carbon em emission reduction and energy saving. So we will consider about em carbon emission and energy saving. And we also function like an IT company to create the best digital tool to enhance their efficiency. So we need to add these three dimensions together so that we can provide a comprehensive solution to reduce the co over costs. And we also have an optimal methodology. And the challenges brought by carbon trading is that, first, 
You need to understand where your data is, where your files are. We can create offline a carbon management system. We can also show that into our digitalized solution. We can also help them to understand about their carbon emission digitally. The ultimate goal is to help the customers to really comply. To the compliance. On the second key point, the very first day of the transaction, you need to be well prepared technically. You need to take full advantage of all technology and tools. All of this will be shown on the curves. And number third, number three, you need to. Better predict the future transaction. You need to understand all of your own constraints, understand your advantages, build up your own portfolio of investment. You may be running similar carbon projects already. What is the impact for your future business? In a period of any gap, we will be able to help you to do a all-step simulation. You can also voluntarily participate in the transaction. We will be able to create a better platform, and for the downstream, we can do it through carbon information released to the public. For the carbon revelation, to do it quickly, you can understand what you really have, what is the cap you have. Through the feedback you collect, you will be able to more focused on reducing emission. What's more important, the investigator and consumer will understand your risk management strategy. The management level already understand and take precautions to avoid possible business risks. Apart from the revelation itself, we also need to help the customer digitally doing the marketing through video and text. As for the upstream, we are managing the energy through supply chain, and we also control the transfer. So basically, we will be able to gain more benefits through the supply chain management. Although it's very complicated, your supplier, hundreds of those, may be scattered towards the whole globe, every corner. That's why we are building a cloud-based services. We have the very low cost. All of your data and supplier can be managed in your system based on the cloud. So, just some key takeaways. Before I stop, I want to bring you three key messages. First of all, from the environmental perspective, the policy is being accelerated. Carbon management is compulsory. There is no option. Secondly, using the right digitized tool, it can make your work much easier. Thirdly, how to manage your carbon strategy is very crucial. You need a customized strategy. A strategy alone is not. Itself, you need to execute as well. You can contact me online through WeChat, and this is my QR code.